Hey yo, what is up? Uh, 50, 60 beats, time for that review. First of all, I want to say sorry for the late, late video on the 56 TP. I know we are already deep into grinding for the missions and the missions are about to be up already. Um, but I got this tank really, really late. Uh, Wargaming like in the Discord gave me two hours to respond before I could, uh, you know, get the tank. And in, I missed that two hour window and because of that, I missed the first release of the tank. I only got it on the first day uh, of the 5060p missions. That's when I got the tank. And uh, I also, on top of that, played a bunch of games in this tank before I could work out in my mind what I wanted to say about this tank. Now, before we dive into the stats, uh, let me just go on a mini rant here. Now, I've been up against horrible matchmaking since I started playing this tank. I've been having uh, games where the enemy teams would have double BZ-176s, double Burasks. There was one game that I even had uh, a double BZ on the enemy team, a double Burask, and an ELC even, while my team had none of those. Man, I don't know what is wrong with the matchmaking. I mean, I get it. It's hard to do so many things at once, try to balance tanks, balance balance matchmakers. But I mean, if you don't want to balance the tanks, the least you can try to do is some kind of matchmaker balance or maybe, you know, try to uh, do some mirroring match matchmaker, at least for those uh, completely overpowered tanks uh, like the BZ-176. If the enemy has one, we should have one to at least do that to make it, you know, some semblance of fairness and make it a little bit more palatable for players. Can you imagine all the old players coming back into the game and, oh, let's go try out this mission and then find out that you have to face matchmaker like this? Man, you would be completely turned off and not play the game. Now, I haven't been playing the game for quite a bit. Um, so when I stepped into this game back again for the 5060p and I played multiple, multiple games, I think I played 30 plus games in the 56TP, uh, I could really feel the frustration of the matchmaker. I'm not upset at the BZ-176s or the Burasks. I'm frustrated that my team doesn't have one. You know what I'm trying to say? But anyway, that is... Let's end the rant here and I'm back to the 5060p and uh, we can talk a little bit about the stats um, you can see that the engine horsepower has been nerfed quite a little bit before they released the tank it was supposed to be a thousand horsepower nerfed down to 900 horsepower uh, power to weight ratio as well from 17.86 dropped down to 16.07 the aim time as well 1.82 increased to 2.21 upon release i think uh, they figured out this tank was a little bit uh, too good with those stats so they decided to nerf it a bit now this tank has incredible mobility very good mobility for a heavy tank and the gun is uh pretty dope as well the only problem is this tank has got absolutely no armor it's got shit armor uh, when I say shit armor, the hull armor is non-existent. Everything will pen you. Uh, you can get the occasional bounce if you, uh, you know, get to um, wiggle a little bit. Maybe show your angles and they'll bounce off your uh, upper front plate. Yeah, that's possible. It does happen, but does not happen uh, a lot. Now, you notice that uh, in these two games that I'm going to show you, uh, there is the same reoccurring theme and the theme is that I'm not going to be the hero in the game. I mean, I do my part and you know, this is the general feeling that you get when you're playing the 50, 60p. Sure, you know, I, I can maintain uh, 60 plus percent win rate playing solo and make a respectable contribution to the success of my team. Like for instance here, you know, doing 2000 plus damage. I mean, I did something, I helped my team win, but in no way was I the point man, in no way was I the main man, in no way was I um, the Terminator or I was Van Damme or if I was Chuck Norris, you know what I'm saying? So that is the overarching feeling that you get when you are playing uh, the 5060p, it's not a bad tank. Um, 
it is a tank that you can play you can have fun uh, but it's not going to be a 703 version 2 it's not going to be a t56 you know what i'm saying uh, and that is basically my point here is it worth for you to uh grind out the missions to get this tank for free i'm gonna say yes if you can get this tank for free or nearly for free do it uh, because uh, this tank does have some value it does offer some kind of uh you know some entertainment it is um a break from whatever tank you are playing you know all the tanks you've collected over the years or whatever this is going to be something different uh, the level of enjoyment is there it's possible to to have some fun in this tank but if you had to pay for it if you're going to, to break out your wallet and outright buy this tank i would say no i would say wait for if you can get some kind of discount uh you know if you already grind this tank and you're gonna get like a 80 percent discount sure go ahead and get it uh it's not bad at all um you can see in my first game i didn't do much uh to win that game i did my part but it wasn't me who did all the work it wasn't me carrying the team it wasn't me uh, uh being creative in my gameplay it wasn't me hitting all my shots um and this game is almost uh it basically wraps up how you know it encapsulates exactly how i feel about this tank i am doing my part and uh, basically that's it i could i could have done better here i could actually have poked and maybe extend a little bit and try to bounce the lowy and shoot him at the same time um, but i didn't i wanted to be safe i didn't want to throw i didn't want to give up any of my hp i learned that i have uh you know after playing so many games i learned that i have no how armor at all so anything that hit me here i would have taken damage for it so i didn't want to risk it but in hindsight you know i could have poked and shoot that lowy here um in fact we could have easily lost this game but uh somehow we managed to uh you know win this game and like i was saying this tank has a has a workable gun 0 0.33 uh, dispersion it means i could make shots like that uh, the moving dispersion isn't good 2.0.20 uh, um, but it is definitely workable in a situation like this where you don't need to move your hull around too much you don't need to wiggle around too much uh, you are basically just going forward and in reverse and then firing your gun uh, this is when the 0 0.20 doesn't matter too much uh, i don't even uh, run any kind of vertical stabilizer on this tank uh, which is really surprising i'm only running the turbo the uh, rammer and the hardening uh, took a bounce my gun bounced that shot there and because of that i missed that scorpion uh, but this scorpion was actually making a huge mistake playing the way he was playing so he was actually contributing to my hit you know giving me hit points basically and we're actually in a situation right now where they could uh, the he their heavy tanks could have pushed over and uh taken me on and probably chased away that burask that is up on the hill with me we are the only two guys here if they were only you know paying attention to their minimap they could have easily overpowered me and the burask chased that burask off the hill or possibly even killed that burask and uh you know there was an opportunity or an avenue for their team to actually win this game but they chose not to uh maybe because he was you know he didn't have the cooperation of his team uh maybe they didn't they didn't have enough information to uh figure out that they could have pushed me but in the end it worked out for me uh like i was saying about this tank uh the gun is pretty good uh the mobility is pretty good but you're giving up armor uh and you're giving up uh that reload time reload time 13.9 seconds i think i got this down to about 10 point something seconds reload which this is what makes this tank a little bit difficult for me to feel like uh i could be aggressive or feel like i could be uh more productive uh 
in in a tank like this because of that 10 second reload time you know you feel like oh what can i do here i mean if i go in it's gonna take me a long while to win and you're gonna see here in a minute that um i could have easily died uh because of that slow reload but there you go when i'm fully aimed i make those shots uh, when i didn't fully aim i'm i whiffed that shot uh but yeah here comes that indian panzer now if my teammates did not help me out there and land a couple of shots on that indian panzer i, be I believe i would have died because the indian panzer's got the reload over me he reloaded quicker and he could have finished me off uh you know in that situation i i should have lost to that indian panzer if it were not for my teammates landing a shot to help me out and finish off that indian panzer so that is the overarching feeling that i get out of the 5060p i hope uh, you get some useful information if you're getting this tank for free almost free go for it if you're gonna pay more than 50 percent for this tank i suggest you know just wait for some sale or wait for some other time or get yourself the 703 version 2 or the t56 thanks for watching i will see you on the next video bye bye